Okay, in this video we will explain how to sketch a quadratic function, then to find the y-intercepts, sorry, intercept, and then to find the x-intercepts. So three key things that we've been working on in class. Very first, I press y equals to get to this window. Then, I need the negative sign because it's negative x squared. The minus sign will not work. If it's the very first term, you need negative x squared. Then I'm adding 6x and subtracting 5. So now I use the subtract because it's later on. But if it's the very first thing, I need a negative sign. Oh, minus 5. That didn't show up. Good. Then, if we have a look at the graph, it looks like this. We can see that this is an x-intercept, and this is an x-intercept, and here's a y-intercept. So in the beginning, to find the y-intercept, we know that that occurs here when x equals 0. So we calculate the value when x equals 0. Enter. And you see that that is negative 5. So if x is 0, then you get negative 5. So 0, comma, negative 5 is what we refer to as the y-intercept. The x-intercepts are a little bit trickier. That's here and here, and that's where the value of y equals 0. So what you do to find those is you go to that same menu, second calc, and you want to now find the zeros. Okay, So you go down to 0, press Enter. It's a little bit more complicated, but you need to be to the left of this. So you can see it's blinking here to the left of the x-intercept. We press Enter. Then we come over until it asks us to be to the right. So you need to be to the right of that x-intercept. We press enter again, and the x-intercept that we're looking for, we guess, is close to here, and we press enter. And you see it's at 1, 0. So that tells us that one of the x-intercepts is at 1 and 0. We repeat that same process, second, calc, number 2, except for now we're going to come over here, and we're going to look for this one. So I need to come over until I'm to the left of that x-intercept. Press Enter. Then it asks me to go to the right, so I come to the right of this point here. Press Enter, and it asks me for a guess. So I go a little bit closer, and I press Enter to guess, and it finds 5 is my x-intercept. So my x-intercept is 5 and 0. And then, I can take that graph, 